Hi and welcome to Ink Express. Here we will talk you through how to download and install an ICC profile on Windows 10 in Adobe Photoshop. For those that aren't sure what an ICC profile is, it is a file created and provided in our sublimation packages to help improve the colour tone and accuracy of your sublimation prints. Here we talk you through how to download your custom profile and select the correct settings when using Adobe Photoshop. We provide all of our sublimation packages with a disk copy of the profile, but for those that don't have a disk drive or prefer, we can email it over and you can download it from there. So, if you are receiving your profile via email, you will need to click the download icon on the attachment and that will automatically save the profile in your downloads folder. Next, you will need to open your downloads folder. You will see the profile we have just downloaded and if you right click, you will see the option to install profile. You won't visibly see anything open here, but it will have installed the profile in the correct folder ready for you to open in Photoshop. If you prefer to double check or to transfer it manually, then you can copy and paste the profile from one folder to the other by right clicking and selecting copy. You will need to navigate through the folders to paste it into the correct one. So you will do this by selecting this PC, select your local disk drive C, select Windows, and then System32, which you may find easier if you search in the search box. You then need to look for Spool. And we open Drivers and Colour. Here is a list of all the installed profiles on your computer. So you should already see the profile that we downloaded earlier, but if it is not listed, you can right click and paste. The profile is now saved in the correct place and ready for you to open Photoshop and apply the print settings. Here we open Photoshop with an image that is sized ready to print. We start by selecting file and print from the toolbar. Make sure you have your printer selected in the printer setup section. Then we move to the colour management settings. Here we change colour handling to Photoshop manages colours. We select the printer profile as the profile we have previously downloaded. So this should be named IE underscore Inktext Sublinova and then your printer model. So for instance, we select the ET2710 profile as we are printing using that printer. You can see that rendering intent has four options. We generally use either the perceptual or relative colour metric option here, but you can select any of these to change the final result. Next we click on print settings. We need to change the paper type to Epson matte and the quality to high. These would be the settings for the Ink Express Sibly Sharp paper, but if you were using other Ink Express paper, you may require different settings, so you can check these on our website. Now we select more options, go down to colour correction, click custom, advanced, and select no colour adjustment, and then click OK. We need to tick high speed and mirror image at the bottom of the page which is under additional settings. When you have done this, click OK and you are ready to print. Thank you for watching our tutorial. For more information please visit our website at inkexpress.co.uk and don't forget to like and subscribe. <music>